Hey guys, it's Preston and Rebecca. And just like you, we really, really miss going out to restaurants. You know, with the whole shelter in place going on, with us staying at home all day, um, I'm sure by now you guys are going crazy just like us. And I'm sure you guys can't wait to go to your favorite restaurant once this lift is done, uh, to go chow down and figure out what the heck am I gonna do? Where the heck am I gonna eat? So what we did is we went to our local Korean uh, supermarket and bought various meats and side dishes for us to uh, grill our in-home Korean barbecue. And so hopefully this can spark your guys' interest of uh, you know cooking more at home during the shelter in place or if you have already been cooking, you guys are probably already quite the chef in the kitchen. Slice, 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 slice. Or like me, you guys are gonna be like a little do-it-yourself workout guru. And it's rah, rah. Or if you just haven't been doing either one of those, probably playing some Animal Crossing. Hey. But regardless of what you guys have been doing, we're all in this together and let's just weather the storm and let's just get this done, guys. So hope you guys have been staying safe and staying preoccupied with something to do. But enough talking, let's get right to the meat. to do first is on our Korean barbecue we like to first oil our pan make sure it's well oiled so the meat doesn't stick and then we like to add probably the fattiest meat first so we're gonna go straight to the pork belly Two hours later. And the biggest thing with Korean barbecue is I really hate waiting. So when the grill is super hot still and the meat's still trying to cook, I just can't wait to eat, guys. Um, but what's your favorite Korean barbecue place? Uh, leave it down in the comments below. Give me a list of different Korean barbecue spots that you guys have tried that you guys would recommend. So a staple to Korean barbecue is kimchi and this kimchi is so so thick and it's super super red um it smells fantastic and it's super super dense let's go give it a try mm. pickled goodness mm -hmm. and then we also have the is it pickled radish yeah pickled radishes a lot of the Korean food, it's all, a, a lot of it's very red in color. Spicy. <laughs> Spicy as you can tell. So it looks like the pork is ready and let's give this bad boy a try. We're dying to eat. We're actually really starving right now. Ooh. Ooh. Dip it in the, um, the sesame with the salt. Oh yeah, let's make it as authentic as possible. It's gonna be hot, careful. Definitely. I wanna eat it, it's almost like, it's like bacon pretty much. It's bacon, right? Yeah, pretty much. Just uncultured, I guess? Yeah. I'm not sure. Here, no, I'm not sure. Give it a try. Get in my belly. I want some bacon mm. in my belly. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. This is the sesame and salt mixture. Just to dip unseasoned meat in makes all the difference. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm. Mm. Dip in. I did. What I did with mine is I. I grabbed my pork belly and I put in between it the um, salted cuttlefish. So it gave it that salty punch in the middle of it. Mm. A little spice, a little garlic, and then the bacon to finish it off. Oh my gosh, I miss Korean barbecue. <laughs> so there's one more piece. Rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, do or die. Only one time, okay? You guys are the judge of this, so. Nope, one time only. Ready? Go! Ready? Right. One, two, three. I guess it's mine. But you could have it. Since you're. You're the one who's ultra starving, and to be a good husband, you could have it. Don't mind if I do. I know. I'm like, okay, guys, we're getting a little too antsy, so we're gonna just start slapping some of the meats on there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna grab the chicken, and the chicken takes a really long time. Enjoy your pork belly, honey. Ooh. So the chicken, it's like it, this one was pre-marinated when I bought it, and it looks like it's chicken thigh. And it has like this uh, sweet Hawaiian smell to it. Oh, man. Oh, man. You can just hear that baby sizzle. Mm. Just put like two of them down. We'll put the chicken down right now. And probably do, we don't do the bulgogi next. Uh, yeah, let's do the bulgogi next. Just because chicken takes so long to cook, kind of just set it aside and let it kind of just do its thing, do chill, its thing cook. On the side. Do you want to put more, do you want to put the beef on next? Uh, yeah, let's do it. These guys are fast, so that's why I like Korean barbecues. Have you noticed, like, most of the meats, they give you the meat that's, like, paper thin, even less than paper sometimes. So this thing is borderline, like, transparent, if you will. And... Look how fast this thing's gonna cook. And so this is already um, pre-seasoned bulgogi. So when you buy it in the Korean market, it is already um, seasoned with the oh, sauce. Um, and But you, they have a lot of um, sauces near the meat area where you can actually uh, buy it. And it says, uh, what is it, like the pre-made bulgogi sauce. Yeah, just basically like buy the sliced ribeye, uh, dump your bulgogi sauce in it, and just have it marinate for like maybe an hour or two hours and it's ready to grill up. Put more in. Okay. <laughs> but that Korean market that we always re reference, it's called the Kukje Market, and um, our, that's our local Korean market. And we get a lot of our like groceries from there. We grab those, if you watched our Korean snacks video, we got all those Korean snacks in there. And there's actually a lot of snacks that we had that we couldn't film is just so much and so big that too many snacks yeah <laughs> and we just couldn't fit it all into one video so leave a comment below if you guys want to see that a footage. part two but we're gonna just keep on doing up this korean barbecue man i miss it <laughs> i know i think of a bay area favorite is uh gen barbecue or how or Gen barbecue. I don't know. G E N Gen Gen. One of those. One of those. Now next up, what we have is the bulgogi. Mm -hmm. So that thin sliced meat, that that thing cooks really fast. So mm. this is all ribeye. Finished. Let's add mm. that to our plates. Sweet. It smells sweet. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's so thin. I think that's why they pair it with like kimchi, the radishes, a lot of the spicy stuff. Because the meat, it's so thick and it's so, um, it's, it's very hearty in taste, like since it's super sweet, mm -hmm. a good balance is like the kimchi from like a little bit of sourness, very, a little bit uh, of spiciness. A very rich sauce. Yeah. So what I did is I made myself like a little bulgogi taco with <laughs> kimchi in the middle. <laughs> I love Korean barbecue. Again, there's third. There's a third piece. Okay. You know what to do. Fair and square, right? Right. We did the other one. Yep. I won the other one fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> did she? All right, let's do it. Oh, oops. Do it again. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, you get it. You I'm get taking it, it this it. time. <laughs> 
I was nice on the porky one, but on this beef, on the beef, I'm taking it. Okay, no, here. no, no, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right. The last bite. And next, we have a marinated pork. Is this pork belly? Uh, no, it looks more like uh, uh, on the lo along the lines of like pork chop. And good thing the pork is super, super thin. This guy's already ready to be eaten. <laughs> Look at this guy right here. Here you go, honey, you I'm first. Taking. Yeah, I'll take this bad boy right here. Ooh. I don't know why we always do this. We always have like three pieces of meat and then we're gonna fight over who gets the last piece of meat. <laughs> well, good thing in the chicken's case, we put two pieces, but the chicken takes a long time. I know. So it's literally gonna be the last thing we eat. I know. So like every time I go to Korean barbecue, I barely order the chicken to be honest with you. Uh, just because it just takes so long and I'm always super hungry when I go to Korean barbecue. Let's do it. Mmm. It's almost like bulgogi, but not as sweet. Oh that's so weird. Because I thought this would be spicy. Mm -hmm. Because on the packaging it said spicy pork and it's like the consist consistency of pork chops but like thin sliced pork chops. It's not spicy whatsoever. There you go. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Mm. I don't know why, but everything, sesame seed, sesame oil makes everything better. Oh, man. All right. I gotta dip some sesame oil. I really want that third piece. Ready for the rock, paper, scissors, duel to the death? Who can take it? It's okay. <gasps> I'll allow it. You do love me. Yay. Is it ready? Yeah. Are you sure? It's kind of a thick piece. Yeah. I had this on for a while. So I do I have swine flu? All for the sake of you guys. <laughs> So Rebecca's raving about that sesame oil. All right. Try it. Sesame oil and salt. Pretty simple. Let's see if it enhances it. It's hot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's pretty hot. <laughs> well, yeah, when you just pull it off the grill. Yeah, but oh man, it's so delicious. I already taste the sesame and salt, so I already know you're not fibbing about that, but oh man, this is good. <laughs> I'm gonna add some of the pickled radish on top of that. So sesame oil, salt, uh, the pork marinade, and some radishes. Yummy. Yeah, the chicken looks pretty much done. I think, well, it takes the longest because it's the thickest piece and you know, you don't want to eat medium rare chicken, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, Korean barbecue, it's a lot of teamwork, a <laughs> lot of patience, but a lot of rewards at it. Oh, the chicken. It's hot. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh, and I see that pork belly is already finishing off. That thing's so fast. So because we like that one so much, we put a little bit more on there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Slightly sweet. The marinade's pretty good. It tastes like Hawaiian barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. So it's slight, slightly sweet, pretty savory. And Rebecca's gonna do her dippity dip with it. Mm -hmm. Oh man. All those pops that you hear, that's just the pork belly being ready to be finished. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, these guys stuck together a bit. <laughs> You guys could hear this. All that meat sweat. Oh. It's like angels singing when you hear pork. <laughs> when you hear meats just sizzling. Just sizzling, it's like. Well, no matter where you are or what you have available, you know, the cream barbecue is such a good way that you can just uh, you know 
put on the table, spend time, even more time with family, get some soju if you can. And it's just a really good family activity or, you know, once we can actually see our friends again, uh, you know, friend, family activity. So I'm really looking forward to doing this again and trying even more different meats and more sides. You can do anything, any cook any side you want. So it's really up to you. Yeah. That's one thing I really do miss is, again, we really, really miss going out to restaurants. I mean, that's what that's what this whole channel is all about, is just us taking you guys on different trips and different places to go, things to do in the Bay Area. Uh, but, you know, with, the, um, with this quarantine happening, who knows when it's gonna end, but, you know, we're all in this together and we really appreciate you guys just watching our videos. We love the comments, we love the likes. And we really appreciate the good messages that we guys receive from all of you guys. And until then, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye. Keep on eating. Keep eating. <laughs>